Okay, it's been a while since the previous Direct, and you know what? All the important stuff has been talked about, has been, you know, mentioned. A lot of people are talking about, oh, hey, this new stuff, this other stuff. And, and really, this particular video is talking about, you know, the obvious thing that's important. You know, the most important thing that comes out of this Nintendo Direct ever. You know, the most important thing that shocked everyone. Well, some people were not really too surprised, but really shocked. Trust me, this is the most important thing ever. You'll never have anything else important than what was in this Nintendo Direct ever. And that is the free DLC for Kirby Star Allies. Oh, you thought I was going to be talking about Smash? Nah, that's going to be done to death. Might as well jump on something else that's actually important. Nah, I'm just kidding. For those of you re real curious, I'm just making that as a joke. My opinions on Smash Bros. is completely different. I'm glad that a game of Smash is coming to coming to the Switch, but I'm not going to say whether or not I think it's a new game or port because I can list and talk about that in its, its own little video. But this is just a small little video I just wanted to put, put out there because, well, a lot of people are talking about, you know, Smash Bros. and what happened in the Direct, and they kind of, well, they're kind of just forgetting or ignoring or not really like caring about all the other information that was put out there. There are some good stuff that have been announced and some things that I generally was surprised about because well I never look into these types of leaks, rumors, I never hear about them and plus if I ever do hear a rumor I don't take it 100% as like oh hey it's gonna be there. I take it with a grain of salt and I think okay if it does happen, if it does actually happened then the rumor was correct but that's the furthest thing from my mind when I'm watching this but if it isn't that if that's not the case then I will just look at what's actually shown and what's shown is that yeah we do have Smash Brothers coming to switch but that's about it but ignoring that I did want to talk about Kirby Star Allies because I genuinely like Kirby's and I really love this series so you know what? I wanted to talk about it because I'm <clears throat> pretty sure everyone's going to be talking about Smash Bros. Everyone's going to be talking about, like, um, what other other games are here and there and what actually surprised them. And I was surprised by a couple of things in the Direct, but ignoring all that, let me actually talk about Kirby Star Allies' free DLC characters. So far, we've, uh, you know, been mentioning, or at least they fully outright stated that the new characters that are going to be added to the characters, at least... Not the first ones, but the characters that are actually in there as friend characters. The dream friends, as they're called. Of course, of a, are, of course, King DDD, Meta Knight, and Bandana D. Bandana Wado D. I can never pronounce that guy's name. I always forget one or two of his names. Or name titles in the sake. So, Bandana Wado D. DDD and Meta Knight are in the game. Well, you know, some people were kind of, could have been shocked if that wasn't the case, but you know, it's sort of this game sort of harkens back to the whole Kirby's uh, Superstar uh, or Superstar Ultra, where you can have enemies as your buddies and you know as their particular things. So it kind of makes sense why the characters aren't technically like they're there or could not be there. But from what I've seen, yeah, they're there as you know playable characters. But, what really surprised me about this particular like thing, when they mentioned their more free DLC characters added later, was the fact that, well, they added Kain, Kuhn, and uh, Rick, which I'm so glad they did. I'm, I'm just glad they're, uh, like, those three are back from uh, Kirby's Dreamland, because I love those animal buddies. I really did, and, and I kind of missed them, and it's just glad that you can actually play as them and they can do stuff. That, that, sounds, that looks pretty cool. But also that they added marks into the whole friend or dream buddies there. Um, I'm betting ten bucks Mark is gonna play like the mirror character, like he's has mirror abilities because some of the characters do have somewhat uh, simple and or like attacks that seem a in character for what they're worth. Like King DD has a hammer, Meta Knight has a sword, Wallaby has a spear, and even then Rick can breathe fire. Kuhn Kine has water, Ku fires um, cutter-like uh, feathers, so I'm assuming that Marks is going to be using some attacks that are going to be similar to Mirror, but 
Marx wasn't technically a playable character slash he was an antagonist throughout uh, Kirby's, or at least through one of Kirby's games. And I'm not going to mention spoilers because you guys should know Mark was a villain back then. And I'm genuinely surprised he's a actual playable character now, or at least a dream friend. I'm, I'm thinking like, it, it's a bit of a stretch to call him a friend because he did betray Kirby like at the end of uh, Kirby's Ultra or Milky Way Wishes and Kirby Superstar. Uh, so that's genuinely surprising for me. And that kind of opens the door for other possible characters that may be added. And I'm hoping to God they add in Adeline because I actually like the character uh, character's design and her appearance. And they have a painting ability, so I'm assuming they could just reskin an enemy and make it Adeline and say, hey, this is another playable character. But that also brings in a couple of other things here and there as possible. Kirby, uh, former villains and or characters that can be brought in as free DLC characters because they actually mentioned that these characters are going to be free DLC for Kirby Superstar which is kind of interesting honestly it really is uh who do I think could be added well I'm betting 10 bucks they're going to add in more of the whole like I'm betting 10 bucks they have to add in a couple of characters that were from Kirby's uh series so I'm betting uh maybe Adeline might be added purely just because like I, I, they have the painting ability, so I'm assuming they will add her, so there's no way around that. They have to add her. Who else do I think could be possibly in it? Um, I think, I think maybe, maybe, like, um, uh, Magalore could be added, or if we're really stretching it, maybe Galactonite could either be a secret boss, or it could be an actual, like, character you can actually play as, you know, like a dream friend. Maybe he might be added as DLC, too. I don't know. They added Marx, which he was a villain, too, so I don't know. Maybe he could have been that, or maybe not. I really don't know. Um, who else? Well, I know there's a couple of other characters who are either one-offs or actually somewhat ingrained into the Kirby series, so that, that could be possible. Oh yeah, Squeak Squad. Any of those uh, Rodin characters. I've played Squeak Squad, but I can't remember its story too much. So, one of the Squeak Squad Rodin characters, maybe they could be added into the whole DLC thing. It'd be interesting to see them in 3D, honestly, as 3D models, because I don't think they technically have one of them. Unless Smash Bros. has a trophy of that, so I could be wrong. Uh, some other characters who I think could be added as DLC are, like, for Kirby's Dreamland, or Kirby's... This is basically Kirby's Dreamland 2.0, let's, let's face it. But Kirby Star Allies also has the potential for other characters, and, uh, well, here's the thing. Kirby, the Kirby anime itself isn't technically canon or any way, like, related to the Kirby games, but Nintendo does acknowledge it from time to time, or at least HAL Laboratory. HAL Laboratory mentions it from time to time as references here and there in both uh, the games and certain little things here and there. They made a, a 100 episode, 101 episode short of it on the eShop, um, so, you know, there's that. So, I think that could, like, one of the characters from that show could possibly be make it, make it into the actual game itself, maybe? Heck, I think, I think, I think they might add uh, Chef Kawasaki as an actual, like, uh, friend there, because he's technically both a boss character that's actually in the game, and he could use the cook ability in a different way than other people have seen it, or at least from what we've seen. Because the cook ability is an ability that's just a one-shot ability for those who know about Kirby, so maybe they could change it up and actually use it as an actual ability. And maybe he could be added into the whole free DLC game gameplay, because he is technically a former mid-boss, or, you know, sub-boss character, and, you know, Kirby can use sub-boss characters as, you know, friends or allies or uh you know king ddd meta knight and waddle well, formerly bandetta waddle d were technically all sort of bosses and sub bosses at some points so i think um chef kawasaki could have a chance at being a free dlc character and that could also tie into the anime because you know he was also in the anime as well but yeah that's that's completely different Although I don't think that they're going to add like characters like Tiff or Toph or some other ones like Escargo into the whole um, uh, 
free DLC lineup because I doubt they're gonna try to go with those characters because they don't really have anything going for them because they never really did anything in the anime itself. So I doubt that. All I can say as a general whole for this Direct is that I enjoyed it and I kinda like some of the games that they announced mainly because I'm surprised about it and it kinda left me feeling a bit like, you know, feeling good that Hey, they're starting to really, like, surprise some people with this types of, these types of announcements. And I know, I know, some people may have already speculated about some of these games, but you know what? I, I didn't know about them. I didn't know about them, so I was surprised. So that's my opinion on it. What are your guys' thoughts on the Direct? And if you're excited for Smash Bros. or any other games, or even the Kirby game, please tell me in the comments down below. And I'll see you all next time in the next video. Until then, sayonara by bots. It's not sayonara my bots. Jesus Christ.